concerning. I don't want people to freak, freak out. out. Um, but basically, when we talk about fever, we're talking about if you're having a fever for more than three days, okay. you might want to get checked out because what if it is flu? We can actually treat that. Most infections, viral syndromes, you're going to have a low-grade fever. For adults, a fever is considered about 100 to 100.4, by the way. If you have a fever, however, of above 103, probably good to call your doc right away and don't wait those couple of days. And then fever and you're not able to tolerate liquids or food or obviously any chest pain or shortness of breath that's associated with the fever, you pick up the phone and call, you don't wait those three okay. days. Here's another one, moles and skin rashes. Yes. Sometimes you see that mole and you're trying to say, is it perpendicular, is yeah. it circular? You know. and another question is, what time of year is the best time to get a skin check? You know, I is that a thing? I didn't realize it was a thing until we started looking into, is it a really? thing? And yeah, one of my Durham colleagues and, and many others agree that winter is, is really the best time. And the reason is that sun can make existing moles kind of look a little funky. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people will get unnecessary biopsies at that okay. time. Also in the winter time, you're covered up. So you're not noticing things and friends and family aren't noticing things. So it's a good time to Now's the time. Yeah. So it's very normal for us to get moles throughout our, our lifetime. Anywhere between 10 and 40 moles is considered normal. But after the age of 30, any new moles, probably a good idea to get it checked out. A changing mole, we're not going to go through all of it, you know, the A, B, C, Ds, the change in color, the change in shape, if it's itching, if it's oozing, sorry, definitely get it checked out. And any new skin rash or lesion, maybe it's a basal or a squamous cell, or maybe it's psoriasis, any new rashes, definitely go and see the dermatologist okay. and get it checked and then out. you know. And then you know. Okay. Let's go inside. Right. Heart and lungs. Though. Heart and lungs. So, so this, I think, is going to hopefully sound pretty rote to people now. Chest pain with exertion, we worry about angina, we worry that that could be something with your heart. Changing chest pain, let's say you have a, an existing history of heart disease and you know you normally get a little chest pain when you exert and suddenly your chest pain is at rest, that is a change and that should be brought to your doctor's attention. Obviously, new shortness of breath and an unexplained cough. And this freaks people out and I, and I understand why. We all have a tickle, we all have a cough once in a while. A dry cough that is persistent that's not otherwise explained by asthma, post-nasal drip, allergies, please go get it checked out. Unfortunately, dry, lingering coughs can be a, a symptom of lung cancer. Sounds a little uncomfortable to talk about, but gastrointestinal issues. Yeah, and, and it is a little uncomfortable, but we do need to talk about it. So if you have a change in your bowel habits, that's what we refer to this as. Yes, you can have a couple of days of some loose stools. Yes, you may have a couple days of some constipation. A few days, not a big deal. Very often related to how much fluid you're drinking, what you're eating, but if it lingers these things for past three to four days, please go get evaluated. A change in the stool, and by that we mean consistency in color. Again, we don't want to get too graphic, right. but some significant changes could indicate problems with the pancreas, liver, gallbladder, and early satiety. That means you get full quickly. Mm -hmm. That could be an indication that you've got something that's kind of blocking the stomach. Mm -hmm. Usually not a great thing. Yeah. A lot of benign things too, but that's a symptom that you should have evaluated. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about weight, unexplained weight loss. Unexplained weight loss. So whenever, you know, I see a patient and I walk in the room and they look much thinner than they did, my first question is, A, you've lost weight, correct? B, did you try to lose weight? Mm -hmm. This is really important. Unintended weight loss, never really a good thing. What are some things it could be? Definitely an overactive thyroid. Some medications that people are taking for things can make them feel nauseous or, ups or, or have difficulty swallowing and they can inadvertently be losing weight. Not eating, and I bring this up because a lot of older individuals, you know, they, they, they lose weight and as they get older. Is it just because they're not eating? Is it because they're depressed? What if eating makes them feel sick? Dill, celiac disease. Mm -hmm. You avoid food because you have belly pain and you feel, so you need to take a good history. And then this is here, and again, not to alarm people unnecessarily, but without another explanation, unexplained weight loss, you always want to look for an underlying malign malignancy, again, depending on the age and other signs and symptoms of okay. the patient. So we tackled a lot of physical, yeah. what about mental? When should you You know, we, we always talk about physical things, but what about your mental health? What if you're having changes in your sleep? You're not able to fall asleep, you're not able to stay asleep, you're waking up really early in the morning, changing your appetite, not eating or eating too much, difficulty with your energy, difficulty concentrating, and then mental sharpness or acuity. If you're noticing any of this about yourself or those around you, please have, have you know, get evaluated. We don't want to just talk about the physical, right? right? Our mental health is so important. That's so. so important. We had a, uh, one of our colleagues yesterday, she said oh, yeah. she was watching one of our segments and decided to call the doctor. So I'm hoping oh, that these that. segments yeah. good. make a difference. Yeah.